got these airbox bolts or the the bolts that hold down the cover over top of the air filter on some Briggs and John Deere engines and this plastic piece just gets to where it spins on top of the bolt so you have to use pliers or vice grips to hold the plastic to be able to turn the bolt to remove the cover off of the air filter so we're going to go over today how to fix that uh, with what you've already got it will take some tools you may not have but we'll bounce through it that way if you have the right stuff in your garage you may can fix this without having to order new ones so they do pop right out of the cover uh, you just pull and they pull out of that cover so here's one that I've already fixed and you can see visually there's not a handful of difference after the fact so it's a, a fairly good repair for uh, longevity and the cosmetics of it after it's done. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take and put it into vice grips and with a large pry bar or screwdriver we're going to take and pry the plastic off of the top of that bolt. After you get the plastic off, it becomes apparent why the design failed. The small square area on the top of that bolt fits into a recess within the plastic cap. And that's what holds the bolt into place with this little bit of flaring holding the cap onto the top of this bolt. Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do, and I've already done, is cut a small washer in half and you want the washer to be where it can sit in a groove in the top of the bolt but not quite contact that, that collar at the top of the bolt. Next will be to take something such as a Dremel and cut a slot in the top of the bolt. Alright so we've got our slot cut in the top of the bolt so that when we place the washer into the slot it doesn't quite contact that ring and is fairly square with that ring. Now we're going to tack weld it here on the top. Okay we've got the half washer tack welded on the top of the bolt into the slot so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take that torch that's down on the ground and we're going to heat the end of this. Uh, I'm going to move the channel locks uh, back onto the thread of the bolt and just loosely attach them there because I don't want to mess the threads up. But I want to get the channel locks back from the head of the bolt. And then take the old plastic cap. And what I'm going to do is just lining up the washer with the the shape of the plastic and centered in the hole while it's hot I'm just going to mash that into the plastic until the plastic seats up against that shoulder let it cool for just a split second hit it with some water alright so I pressed it in let it cool till the plastic quit moving and then hit it with some water and it tends to pile the plastic up over where the washer cut into the plastic so you just take a box knife and trim that off to where the shoulder of the bolt is what makes the first contact with the top of the air filter cover all right so there's the finished product trimmed you can see that when the plastic melts it encases the bottom of that washer so it is now permanently on the head of that bolt and the way that the washer is inside this plastic um, it really doesn't have the opportunity to ever fail again um, so that's a, a quick repair uh, provided you've got the adequate tools uh, to where you don't have to wait on the shipment to come in to get lawnmower put back together